Hello YouTube. Today we are going to be doing a uh, full loot run on Shoreline, starting at East, going over to Admin and then West, Cottages and Exfilling at Tunnel. This is an offline raid, it is the weekend, I have already recorded this video, I am doing a voiceover for it because I had music on and was completely droned out after 14 hours of loot running and falling over to uh, Zhao Lingping. We're just going to change our filters here. We're going to be going into black and white because even though it's daytime outside, it's very bright. Um, we still can't see down the end of the hallway. So we're going to go into uh, black and white so that our visibility is um, as advantageous as possible, I guess it'd be the best way of putting it. Um, we're going to take every advantage we possibly can, especially on loot runs. Um, so first thing, we're going to be pushing into East. Um, obviously, Dad Team 6 and uh, Sunny aren't here. Um, and we're going to go into 110, Santa's room. There's three or four leddy spawns in here. Obviously, you know, we've got our uh, PC, um, a little gold, uh, two gold spawns, one under the desk on the left, and then one by the TV in the, in the, in the uh, far left hand corner. And then we have the bag and the uh, surgical or medical table as well. Um, as we come in on the left, 107 next, uh, 107 is a great room. Um, Every room that I hit is going to give you great value, apart from possibly 216 and 220, um, which are task keys, so you need them anyway. It's, it's irrelevant. You might as well hit them. Um, check between the crack in the table, always, and on the uh, shelf, leddies, GPUs. And that room can spawn a huge amount of medical bags and duffels. I'm going to skip the rest of it and head on, head on up to uh, second. Uh, close left, med bag, far right, med bag, outside, med bag, and uh, none there. So straight onto the PC, uh, just for, well, just for giggles, really. Just to sort of demonstrate that even offline, and the loot is terrible offline, um, that you can get absolutely stacked. So if you do get a dead raid, or even if you have to fight for it, um, you know, you are going to come out absolutely stacked. I see a lot of people only looting one wing. It's not worth it. Hit the, hit the whole resort. Um, into 226. This room, man. I mean, one of my duos seems to... Ah, oh, I found another Ledex every time he comes in here. But for me, Sprats and um, Quick Clock. Happy days. Love that. Uh, bitty spawns and bits and bobs there by the bedside table. Uh, this room next door to us here, this is fantastic um, early wipe. If you are indeed, you know, looting and uh, cutting about on shoreline, um, when I say early wipe, I do mean early wipe, first week. Um, weapon parts, nades, as you see there for, you know, for Grenadier, um, or just general PvP. Um... I actually only don't I don't use impact nades unless I'm doing grenadier. I, they're so toxic. Um I think you have a major skill issue if you if you actually uh openly run them as part of your loadout. Uh pushing on now into 219. This is a free room, this is always open as you can see. Uh check under the table, on the box, and on the table itself. Not really paying any minds to anything. Um for some reason. Uh, to show you how tired I was when I was and I was going to edit this out, but I'm going to shame myself. I actually thought I heard a player, and then I was like, "Bro, you're offline." <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know. Another free room, lady spawn in the drawer, in the papers table. Always check that. Um, these med bags, you know, you're gonna if you if you loot running shoreline um, consistently. You are going to pull leddies out of those bags. It's inevitable. You will do that. So keep hitting them. It is a numbers game. Uh, you 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 know you will end up having a crazy raid. I had a raid last wipe. Um, two GPUs, two leddies, defib, um, and then decided to go and push a four man with my duo, um, who also had a leddy and a GPU on him as well. Um, and we both died. <laughs> but hey, uh, that table there, Bitcoin, all sorts of good stuff there. This weapon box is insane. I don't know why. It always seems to bless me with something fun. Um, this time, I believe it was a GP25, which, you know, we do enjoy a bit of the uh, underbarrel action. 
This is a cut through 314 into 313. I have keys for both. Um, just in case I want to... I've had like occasions where I've gone to rotate on a player below me. Um, while a teammate is anchoring. And I've then been chowed by a second player that we didn't realize was there. And I was like, well, I need to get on... I want to I gap this guy and get close. M67 down. And I'll hit this just to catch him off guard. Um, I'll come down the left side rather than the right. It just might buy you a couple of milliseconds on that peak when he reach hours because he'll be expecting you to be by the, the uh, free cut through, um, not this one. Um, always check the bathrooms as well on Shoreline now. Uh, weapon boxes, crates, med bags, duffels. Um, with the dynamic loot, all that jazz is going to spawn in the bathrooms. Um, so stay on that. I haven't hit 308 because I'll hit that last. Um, I'm closer to West Wing. I'm closer to admin. I want it to be one of the last rooms that I hit so that I can gather, you know, if I do hear anything, it's what we call actionable information. It's actionable intelligence. I can do something about that. But if I go in there and loot early and I pick up on whether it's footsteps or gunshots, whatever it may well be, um, if I'm then going to come and loot all of this afterwards, you know, three, four minutes, they can literally be um, on the way to Exhill or even out of the map if they've SJ'd. So it becomes irrelevant information and you just become um, either complacent or just incorrect with your movement on the map. Um, and that's ultimately going to get you killed. So uh, it's, you'll run enough raids, you'll pick up on what should be where and who should be where based off of what spawns and the loot on the map and etc cetera, etc cetera. um scav behavior everything you'll after a period of time result becomes quite easy to read and you can actually place players very accurately on the map without them even firing a shot sometimes um just intuition on how long it takes to loot certain parts of the map and, and then if you hear audio earlier then you're like okay so that's not a solo that's probably a duo or if it's really early and it's loud and obnoxious and it's probably a trio or more it just gives you the ability to be able to make um, decisions that you can act on rather than having to be reactive because when you're reactive, you don't really know the size of the force or what the force is that you're fighting. Um, this room spawns uh, med bags down at the bottom of the bed as well quite often now, this wipe I've noticed. Um, so yeah. I think I'm literally... I think at this point I'm actually playing a half one like almost like one-handed at this point i think i'm on my phone and in a minute when i go down the stairs i'm just like staring at the ground because i'm literally texting my wife it's um again i was like that's right i'll, I'll edit that out like nah you know i'm not editing any of that out show the world what how much of a bot you are dude all right so not everybody loots every pc i see it a lot with um some of the arguably better players out there, they won't actually sit there and loot everything. If if you're just doing a general raid, questing or PvP, in, that's fine. If you're loot running, loot. And other than looting, let's uh, let's get looking at what we just done there. So first, second, third, you can see the rooms that we hit, and the actual part of the resort that we went into there at East. Uh, for any more information about this thing, send me a message or um, check out some other videos that I've got online. Part two is out now, and that is for admin. Other than that, thank you very much.